what we're seeing, especially in British Columbia, is that we have a lot of children that have come from war-torn nations, from other countries, from other continents. And so I think we're seeing an uptick in awareness amongst the younger generation. I'm Karen baker mcgrady I'm the former Honorary Colonel of the Royal Westminster Regiment, and I'm the chair and founder of No Stone Left to Own in New Westminster. And we started this project in 2016. Well, I think it's very important that we do teach the children. Uh, you know, there's so many distractions these days with video games and sports, etc. And sometimes it doesn't get taught at home, or sometimes the family didn't have the experience of of having a military person in their family. So I think it's important that we take that initiative. And now we're at 650 students that are all learning about the act of remembrance, taking that commitment to remember our fallen for the rest of their lives. I hope this will benefit them. We will remember them. My name is Noah and I'm in grade five. I feel really grateful that we like that we don't have to struggle anymore. They sacrificed their life for us and now and now we have a we have a free country and now we're safe. And even though they risked their lives just to save us. I think that war is like very bad stuff and Canada is like very a very good place to live in. My name's Lily and I'm in grade five. I was thinking of the person who sacrificed his life for our country because they sacrificed their life just to have world peace, but we don't have world peace. It's just really sad that they all had to die and now we have to remember them because some of their family died and now nobody has to remember them. So we come here to remember them. Overwhelmingly positive response that I get from the students. They enjoy the experience. It, it has meaning to them, especially when they go home and they do talk to their parents about it. And some bring their parents down to the graveyard to see on the weekend. There's a lot of things that are being um, expressed around the world. And sometimes, you know, the children are maybe perhaps worried. Uh, their parents are worried. They have families all over the world. And it's uh, definitely a, a changing world out there. I'd like to ask everybody to please go out on Remembrance Day, wherever it may be, wherever, whether it's at the Cenotaph, whether it's at a cemetery, wherever, even if it's just outside in your backyard, and just say thank you to all our veterans for what they've done, what they've sacrificed, and to give us our freedoms that we enjoy here in Canada.